Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Hearts of Iron 4, playing Bismarck. Alright, so, as you can tell from the thumbnail and the title, we're gonna probably end up playing as Prussia. Uh, not Africa, I hope. But the Kingdom of Prussia with historical AI focuses on, just because I don't know what's gonna happen. I've never really played this mod before. And, like, every single campaign I do, we're just gonna let everything be what it'll be. Nothing really changing here. But let's get right into the game. Uh, and honestly, the opening music with this march, it's a little loud. So actually, I might have had to reduce the volume a little bit, but whatever. So here we are. Prussia. 1935, September 23rd. Now hopefully, uh, maybe we should move on from this march. Eh, let's keep it on for now, whatever. Um, I have soldiers in Russia. The Soviet Baltic Socialists, Polish Empire, Austria and Czech places, Germany's been shattered, of course, Benelux, Netherlands, Rhineland, Third French, oh, okay, whatever, cool. Uh, we have a focus tree, it looks kind of large, can I do anything? Yes, council decisions, with a great description. Now, this is Bismarck right, so we... Uh, this mod isn't fully finished yet, so it, it'll be what it'll be. I have no idea what this is going to happen. Hopefully, we can unite Germany at the very least. It's going to take time, but it'll be kind of fun. Wait, we're only making ships, and the music is over. Cool. Uh, we need some guns. That'd be nice. All this stuff would be really good to have. Even maybe a couple planes here and there. Uh, you know what? I want to use close air support in this campaign. Uh, tanks probably be a good idea as well. Make sure we got plenty of guns coming along. Two of that. Uh, one is fine for that group. Get some artillery. Max that out eventually. Tanks would be pretty important as well. Good, good, good. Hope you're all having a great day. So, uh, I was trying to avoid talking just a little bit. It's a little bit ahead of time. Whatever. I'll do that anyways. Good. But... Well, I didn't want to talk during the music because it's it's really loud, and it's a march, you know, whatever. It's a probably a 20th cent 19th century march, but I, don't, I have no idea. But so Bismarck Reich, apparently. Wait, what do we? Early sub, pff, whatever. Um, early subs, no Bismarck Reich. It's about when Bismarck was killed in 1870 in an alt history scenario, where. Of course, Bismarck, Bismarck was killed, Prussia went to war, they lost the war against the French and the, I think the British, and a bunch of other stuff happened to the point where the world for Prussia and the German states is looking pretty, pretty weird, pretty unique, pretty different. So we've got Hungary, we've got Ukrainian Socialist Republic, we've got Kingdom of Crimea, the People's Republic of Transcaucasia, basically Dagestan, these guys led by Tratskinator. Uh, Alliance of the Soviet Republic? Zuk Zukov. Hello. And yeah, yeah. And Normandy, obviously. Kingdom of Spain, America. Oh my god, this looks painful to my eyes. To my American eyes, this looks, this looks really painful. The Confederate States, but you don't even have, like, Alabama or Mississippi. They're in the American Empire? Can California and Confederate States? Dominion of America. And then government... A gouvernement canadien of Francois. Oh my god, what the heck happened here? Uh, yeah, we got... So you guys are all 18 combat with divisions, and then... Oh, Prussian Army 007. Actually sounds kind of cool, I'm not going to lie. Uh, select all... Let's see, we're just going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Pull you off. Select half of y'all. Half of y'all. Ah. Cool, so for this campaign, the audio is going to just be a little bit uh, softer. Just because it was, it's really loud for that one march. Oh, August von Mackensen. Hello, thank you very much. Next up, we're going to choose Felix. Because, well, we don't have that many choices to choose from. Ritter von Lieb. Hindenburg. And then Ramos. Wow, we have a lot of outdated generals. That is not good. And we're going to put a border between us and the Austrians. Because we don't trust them. In the meantime, though, we will let our soldiers train. And let time go on. Hopefully we can get out of Russia. Yeah, I don't think I've ever played a game yet where we start in 1935. So this is kind of cool. Kind of cool. 
Let's check out our navy. We got a couple subby boys. This looks kind of familiar to the... Oh. I don't know. This looks a little familiar where we can't, don't have a really big old navy. Um, I'm going to merge you two together. Pretty good. And a good admiral. Oh my god. Darn it. Did they give you everything? Air controller, a leader experience gain, naval damage speed, gunnery expert. Well, he's an old guard, but... What the heck? Go on, we should get a seawolf sometime, hopefully, eventually, too. Uh, Boeim? Boem? Yeah, cool. Are you guys just sitting... Are you literally just sitting in the waters? Uh, go home, guys. It's totally, totally cool. You don't have to, you know, stay there. So, French colonial government regime surrenders. French colonial regime suffers and surrenders to the Francos, France. The French Civil War ends. Well, I'll let you know that this Sicilian North Africa, what? what? This is made by a person who doesn't speak English as a first language, so the translation won't be great, but we'll do our best. So, we have a French state, and then we have the French Third French Empire. So they're fascists, led by Pétain, and Napoleon IV is still here. Oh, oh, oh that's a disgusting... Oh, my God. Uh, doodly Pound, huh? Looks like a generic focus tree, which is fine, which is totally cool. But I wanted to play Bismarck Correct right because some people played it before, and I kind of wanted to try it out myself. And they're led by Cecilio. Do you have a generic focus tree? Okay. You are Walter Kruger, leader of the Confederate States... Monarchists. What? Ah, Eisenhower. British experts in the American Dominion. Commonwealth member. American rebels divided America. Okay, and you have an American empire led by Alban Barkley. Bismarck Reich. N nerfed country. <laughs> okay, cool. I mean, whatever. Wait, American empire. American freedom. Okay, so these guys actually have a uh, unique focus tree. That's kind of cool. That's awesome. Uh, I should just let time go on for now as we explore, you know, Churchill's here, the Great British Empire, and they also have a focus tree, that's cool. So I don't don't know exactly which countries have a focus tree. Wow, this looks really large, but then again, there's a lot of space here. Uh, new British Diplomacy, continue with Oswald Mosley, continue with Churchill, continue with S Snowden. Alright, well, whatever. So... It's 1935. What national spirits do we have, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. We are led by a Regency Council, or just a Prussian Council. We'll address these national spirits soon enough, but let us choose. Let's see. Nothing else on the right. A an aggressive policy? A peaceful policy. Prussian Navy? Prussia goes to the elections. End of the Frankfurt Treaty. Let us do Prussian ide ideological crisis. Ideolog ideological crisis, yeah. We get political power out of that. That's cool. So, National Spirits, the death of Bismarck, he was assassinated in Britain, I think in 1870, World War I. And the Prussians were, the, unfortunately, the losers. The Treaty of Frankfurt, which actually hurts us, but gives us some more support. Prussian staff, which is always good. Divided Germany, which is not good whatsoever. Warning for an economic collapse. Our economy is tired? Huh, it's a tired economy. Does, it needs more sleep? We have a buffed country, that's, I like that. Cool. Great and mighty trained Prussian army. Awesome, yes. Very cool. Seek German colonialism. Oh, that's nice. London failures again and again. Crisis after some d days. After London has have to prepare for elections. If democracy lose elections, civil war will begin soon in Britain. This mighty emperor can be die. Awesome. Good. They, were, they fought us in the First World War in this timeline, so they should die. The foul support. Very cool, very cool. And Turkish-German sanctions. Cooperation. I love cooperation. So we have national ideals, which is really cool. So we can get normal tax. We have normal taxes. We can get very low taxes, which hurts our consumer goods. We get more stability. Or we can have very high taxes. Our ministers extensively supports the Reichstag's decision. It gives great ethics to our people and politics. This is true support. And then we have some normal economic meetings. Oh, that looks really bad. Economic crisis meeting. Damaged economy meeting. Great economy meeting. I like that. Perfect economy. I love the perfect economy. Normal curriculum, nice curriculum, okay. Bad curriculum, very bad curriculum. Oh, maybe we want to get it to nice curriculum sometime, perhaps. Maybe, maybe not. Normal parliamentary, uh, that looks expensive. Greater parliamentary, uh, shadowed parliamentary. Anarchism at all, what are we, Spain here? Ah, Prussian ideal, ideological 
crisis. So, accept the purge ideas. Well, it looks like we're going to go purging, and then we can make a choice with ban the monarchists, ban the fascists. We're probably going to go ban the fascists because Prussia, Prussia has to be, has to have a kingdom. I mean, it has to be the kingdom of Prussia. Like, oh, wow. We still have Rudolf Hess, Goebbels here, Jonas Smith, Connected Citizen, Economist, Liberal Journalist, Elizabeth Gentleman, huh. Oh. I can go to partial mobilization, which would be good. We currently get 0.36 a day. Oh my gosh. Armaments. Hmm. Honestly, I I have a problem. I just love getting so much political power early that it's kind of the detriment to me. But that's just like how I want to play. And obviously, I can't speak right now. But whatever. Whatever. I can't speak, you know. Whatever. Oh, wait. Hold on. I guess I can't get Rudolf Hess. Can I get someone else then? Uh, let's see if we can get a theater then. Rocket scientist. Ooh. Wait, Heinz, you're a hundred more. This is obviously better. Okay, well, we'll choose him. I, whatever. Okay, you know, whatever. We'll roll with it. More research speed. Cool. We only do research less. We are offering some cookies. We are offering cookies to you. I hope you can eat them in the Reichstag. Let the game begun. Is you drunk? Oh, Syria and Iraq war. Well, welcome to the Bismarck Reich. This mod is not very advanced. I got the mod off, mod off early. Cool. This is, I think this is developed by a single person too, so. More things about Bismarck Reich. If you want to read this, go right ahead for the long version. Oh my god. If you want to read this, I'll pause it right here so you can read it. The Bismarck received seven bullets. That's all you need to know. Cool. Bismarck got seven bullets. A lot of bang bang, pew pew, boom boom. And now it's 1936. Happy 1936, January 6th. Yugoslavia's here, and they're looking a little... Minus Slovenia. Kingdom of Austria led by Karl. Oh, look at that. What does that say? MacArthur Coups America. Austria, uh, Hungary, Dream. Polish leader was murdered. National security. Strong monarchy. Treaty of Frankfurt. How barbaric. Uh, we want to see this real quick. Oh, they have their own... Ooh, focus tree, too. So they can do... Go with monarchism. Let's try to remake Austria-Hungary. Saxony joins Prussia. Saxon people votes for joining Prussia and their success. We are getting near to reunite Germany. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Go with... Com wow. It's either go with monarchism or go with communism. There's no other ideologies in between that. Let's unite with Germany. That sounds kind of cool. Partition of the Rhineland. That's really awesome. Cool. And we got... Ah, the Saxons. I love the Saxons. And how did he coup America? Wait, collect... Create a collaboration government in the Kingdom of Prussia. We get stability and experience. The Third Berliner Congress. That's a lot of political power. So, who could... That's a dis... Get rid of that flag. That's disgusting. Um, cool. So, you just cooed America. I'm kind of lucky, though. And we have resistance because... Oh. Civilian oversight will... Oh my gosh. Yeah. We're going to need guns. We're going to need a lot of guns for this. Uh, yeah. I have a single dockyard. I didn't even realize I only have one dockyard. Um, well, that's not good. So this is, isn't a core of a, Excuse me. A core of ours. That's not bueno. That's really not good. Oh, wait. We want to use probably cavalry for this. Ooh, oh, I don't have artillery or extra support companies to do this. Oh, that's not good. God dang it. So, let's hopefully get enough army XP. And the Spanish Civil War. That's pretty normal, I guess. Get enough army XP. Remove that off of our cap. Actually. Yeah, I'll probably remove that off our cavalry. I don't think I can do it like this. I can edit this. Can we duplicate that? It would take 20 army XP to get rid of everything here. Hmm. Actually, yeah, I can use special forces to do that. Oh, that sucks. If I do that... Do we need less guns? We might need less guns if we do that. No. Oh. Basic machine tools. Very nice, very nice. Let's get some output. Disperse industry is always fun. Can I send you divisions? Who who do we like the most? You guys know. You guys know. Well, we don't like anyone down here. But you're monarchists. And we're monarchists. Oh, we're no. We're not aligned? Oh, come on, man. Well, we want to become monarchists. So, can we send you... No. Reichstag is in crisis. Reichstag cannot take any decision in six hours. This will show how Reichstag is weakened. Probably people taking off support from Reichstag. Huh. 
This is certainly interesting. Not gonna lie, certainly interesting. Oh, and we help fix or help put down some resistance, except the purge ideas. So be it. I just lost more stability. All right, cool. Uh, ban the monarchists. Uh, you want me to kill Wilhelm II? Wilhelm III becomes the leader of the monarchist party. Why? Arrest Erwin Rommel. Ban the monarchists and his allies. I'd rather ban, ban the fascists. Make Hindenburg monarchist or just kill him. Exile Guderian. I like Guderian though. I don't want to kill him. Ban the fascists. We get political power out of it, which is nice, but... Oh, this is going to take forever. Oh my gosh. Oh, I could raise my conscription level. That's always kind of nice. Yeah, the next thing we do, we're going to go to partial mobilization. That'll be good. So right now, we got eight factories. And we're trying to build ourselves up. We have this. You guys... I need ten... Berlin and London stocks crushed. Our economy was fully crushed. Berlin and London stocks collapsed. Oh my gosh. Uh, I don't read. I can't read, so... Arizona Socialist Republic declared war on the Confederate States. Wait. Today, Arizona rebels declare independence against Kingdom of South America. South America. The sixth federal kingdom of Brazil. Um... Kingdom of South America thinks this is a German plan to take over Kingdom of South America. Prussian people affected from this war. Oh? Scandal. And they immediately died. Damascus Treaty? Oh, that's cool. I don't read that. Persian Empire? That's cool. Well then, the Republic of Turkey. The Arizona Socialist Republic was crushed pretty darn easily. We currently get 0.28 and now we have bad times. We could improve worker conditions. Actually, I'm going to do that so we get more stability. That would probably be good. And, oh, that's so bad. But, hey, at least we got a lot of war support. You know, that's nice. War support's always nice. We're going to wait to do that. We're going to do... No, I guess we can do that. That's fine. We're going to need more guns. Extension of Mons. Scientists approach government about their project. Extension of Mons. What can we do about this, sir? Can we support? We have some money. Let's have some support. We... Oh, that's so... Oh... I don't have that political power. I already get minus 0.25 a day. I can't afford that. I would love to do that, but I just can't do that. It's a waste of money. You know what? For now, I'm going to train my guys, my subby boys, which probably isn't really worth training, but whatever. Actually, it's probably not worth training at all because we only have one dockyard, which... Ugh. You know what? I'd love to train you guys, but just go home. Go home, repair, because I got to get through these guys as fast as possible. For now, but let's ban the fascists. Good. Next up, uh, try to make Hindenburg monarchists. We get stability and political power, which is nice. Which is very, very nice. Normal taxes. We also have not a member of the UN. Huh. UN has been created with the Congress. That looks pretty nice. Less war support, but whatever. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein comes from Rhineland to find a job in Prussia. Can we support him to find a job immediately? We need him for more nuclear research speed. I'm going to focus on the economy. Yeah, I think that's going to be pretty important. Let's see, local security interventionism, regional interventionism, United Nations limited interventionism, or global interventionism. Wait, has member of UN. Half a million, huh. Well, whatever. Any decisions that I should take? Nope, cool. I think this is still bug, right? Yeah, I'm not fascist, so. Partial mobilization it is. Which actually, yeah, that definitely is better than this. We get more fuel gain, which will be nice. And we can actually build, like, civilian factories 30% faster, as well as military factories by 40%. So that's muy bueno. Pre wait, Prussian Terror? What? What? Almost done building one of those. That's great. Uh, how is the army? I'd love another general, but, you know, whatever. Whatever. How is the Air Force? Do we have any force? German scientists. Monarchist Indian Rebellion declared war on the British Raj. German scientists. They work every day to upgrade German technology. They need some money to make their projects real. What can we do about this, sir? Can we support it? So we lose 0.35 a day. We lose a crud ton of political power for 5%? Not scientists. We just want to rebuild economy. This action supports to scientists go to other countries. Um. I can't. I can't do that, man. Maybe late game this would be good, but right now, it just doesn't seem wise. Oh my gosh. 
This is certainly an interesting beginning. Gather for the creation of the UN. World tension decreased by 25. More political power and stability. Huh. How's Carl doing that? What are these other German states? Bavaria, they're led by Friedrich Paulus. He's a monarchist. Huh. You guys are monarchists as well. Kingdom of the Rhineland. S expanding army? Nope. Rhenish French assistance. Hessian crisis. Divided Germany. And then we have monarchist, pretty communist, Franz von Schleswig-Holstein. Cool. And then we shall next try to make or exile Guderian. This action will slow the terror attempts 0.5% from the fascists. I can't even read this green stuff because we don't know how to kill generals by modding. If you know, let me please write in the comments. All right, cool, cool. We'll see what happens. You know, you never know. Promises of peace. I don't believe in promises of peace. I kind of want to get shock, maybe? Well-connected citizen for maybe a little more stability? A liberal journalist? Eh. I like stability. There's really not much here that we can do. I can't do Martin Ballman, either. Mm. 0.25 a day. That's really not looking good. And we don't want to go fascist, either. Okay, Berlin and London stocks are beginning to recover. Uh, effects of the stocks are going to be removed. Now we can make some reforms or for removal of these effects. World tension goes down. And we get something... Okay, great, great. Is there any way for me to... Oh! Create a collaboration government in the kingdom of... I'm tempted to do this to see if we get any more stability. Hey! That costs 150 political power to get 1% stability! I don't think that was worth it, but you know what? At least I tried it. And more importantly, we got this. We're gonna move these. Thank you. Now, actually, if I had military, at least it's better to switch that around. Cool. There you go. Now that should do a little better. We're still out of guns, though. Hmm. Exile Guderian. Once we get more... Oh my gosh, that construction speed, that factory output is just murdering me. Uh, oh yeah, we need Berlin stocks crash. We definitely need to do that. Very low taxes. Yeah. Attr arrest Heinrich Himmler. Ban fascism. Well, that's pretty powerful. Remove Prussian terror. End of the purge. This takes 35 days. This takes quite a few days. Cool. So, Berlin mar stock market crash. We get political power from that. Great. 0.7 a day. Not bad, not bad. We're currently not aligned. We definitely want to go Hohenzollern, though. Mechanical computing. Great. We're going to grab this first industry. Going to do that. 1937 stuff. We can wait a little bit. Extraction can wait a little bit. Let's get some artillery. And how about a plane? Now we're doing pretty well on planes, actually. How about naval stuff? We're not carriers. We're not focusing on that. Ships. Yeah, we can focus a little bit on ships to make them better later on. Radar, good. How about guns? We're doing okay on guns. Interwar armored cars. Let's grab that immediately. We want to build up those so we can help put down resistance. Turkish troops enter Batumi in Transcaucasia. This gives this land gives more damage than its. Such a weakness. Do you guys have a focus tree? Commander Sergio. No, but you got some interesting national spirits. They have a drunk army. Wow. Armenian Revolt, which makes sense, and then Soviet Council. So, what are the factions here? So, we have the Commonwealth, the British Commonwealth, makes sense. We got the... Pactifer. No, oh, Pact Francois. Anarchists. Oh my gosh. Yeah, anarchists have just risen up. And then we have the Alliance of the Soviet Socialist Group, over here, and then these three. Commonwealth again, we have the French Alliance, Commonwealth, Commonwealth. Okay, cool. And that's pretty much all the factions. So, communists, just, they're just being blunt about it. Just, we're communist Spain. All right, cool. Berlin stocks crash. How about we go with, move the taxes for weeks. Emergency economic meeting. Let's try that one. Yeah, I got 5% stability. Could be worse. We're in partial mobilization. What do we want to do here? Industry, industry. Uh, can I get shocked? No, I can't. What do I do here? 
Organization, division, attack, training time. Um, I guess I'm just going to go with industrial concerns. I, I'm not really sure. I mean, there's really not much. I could do this one again. Uh, so we get more stability, which is actually kind of good. When the Polish people get their freedom, Poland decides to continue with military leadership. Okay, cool, cool. They're, they already have Lithuania and all of Slovakia. Wow. Hmm. That is interesting. How many guns are we out? 5,600? How many guns do we need? 800? But it's going down. That's good. That's actually really good. It's going down, it looks like. Yep, by four a day. So that's not too bad. We're doing okay. We're doing okay. Six a day. Awesome, awesome. Put those people down. The Saxons wanted to join us. Why you why you do this, man? Why you do this? Better getting slowly, slowly more and more compliance. We've got informants. Next up we will get a local police force, but we'll need less garrisons and additional recruitable population, which is nice. We're doing a little okay here in Brandenburg, building ourselves up. It's only 1936, so we've got plenty of time with the Kingdom of Morocco. That's cool. Mr. Fez Mohammed V. Oh, that's a focus tree. Ah, economic emergency meeting. Our economists want to support reformers, so we're going to support them all. Oh my goodness. That's not a lot of political power. And time for support the reformers. Okay, that looks like it gives us quite a quite a few good buffs to our current situation. Kingdom of Benelux. I like the plus. It's a big plus there. Flemish debts doesn't look good. Farms of the country. Do you have a focus tree? No, you don't. How about the Dutch? And the Dukos. Do these German states have a focus tree, or is it just Prussia? Bavaria. Bavaria's got to have a focus tree, right? Yeah. They. They. Well, I mean. They kind of do. Uh, it, it is unique. It is a very unique focus tree with new Bavarian constitution, Bavarian industry, and start up the economy. Promise for the workers. Cut down the wings of the capitalists. Cool. But I'm also joined here with my cat. Uh, Prussian Binky. Right, B Bink? Yeah, you're taking a nap on my chair here. Oh, yeah. Come on, keep napping. Don't worry about things. Just take a nap. Yeah, buddy. Oh, yeah. Take a nap. Cool, and anarchists are having a good time down there. I can't even build a division because of all this economic hardship. Oh, I only get 0.43 political power a day. That's not much. Support the reformers. Cool. Uh, next up, we shall build, support the rebuilders, which seems pretty good. So that's slowly being eroded away. 14 civilian factories. And I wanted to double check something. Oh, yeah, Italy. Or uh, Piedmont. Kingdom of Piedmont. Led by Victor Ardy Manuel III, divided Italy, Julia Frankfurt, and you have a new, unique focus tree as well. Very cool. Legacy of the Piedmont. Tyrol Rebellion. Save Tyrol. Bypass Tyrol. Treaties with Austria. Plan for re reunification. That's cool. Uh, anything here? Military police is probably pretty important to do. We're doing better on guns. I like it. Nice, we are only out 237 guns, so that's not too bad, not too bad. 213, artillery is just slowly getting better and better and better. Uh, let's see, not bad. And in, in a week, we will have support the rebuilders. Prussian tear, that's not good to see. Really not good to see. Switzerland, I doubt Switzerland has a unique focus, you're right. Nope, that's pretty generic, but whatever, that's cool. Prussian Navy, that definitely don't need to focus on that. Uh, there's aggressive policies. So let's go ahead and do, what does this do? Close trade, small payments for the army. Oh, wow, let's take some debts. Support the workers. Yes, support the workers. So you guys are doing well. Hmm. This is a lot of ships. These really don't look like they're worth a German pleasure. We lost the WW1 with these countries. Reichstag asks for send them a pleasure about to make a coalition easily with them. Faction back. Austria, Bulgaria, Turkey. Our son will be alone. Oh, crud. That's a lot of political power and stability. I like that. But it's always good to have allies. It only costs us 50 political power and we're already in the negatives. Who cares? They might not say yes, but we'll see what happens. Yugoslavia, do you have a focus tree? Oh, who's this? <gasps> we actually made a division. Whoa. Felix, you got anything for me? Nope. All right, then. Oh, South American Empire joins America. Nice. That is a real... Oh, that looks really bad. 
I, if you look at the states like that, that looks really not bueno. Uh, go ahead and do this. Construction speed. Yeah, Tennessee and North Carolina. Oh, kind of jaggy with Virginia, including West Virginia. Oh, boy, that's not even its own state. All right, America, you're looking kind of cool. MacArthur, you definitely have plans going on. Public opinion against the war. Um, you're not at war right now. Oh, do we know how many, how many factories they have, or... Look at some manpower. This part of America has more. In fact, industri industry-wise, they're pretty close. Except these guys have more military stuff. I like the flag, though. Military, you know, support. Support the workers. Let's do remove the taxes for four weeks. The government's not going to make any money. Britain leaves from Normandy. Among the French terrorism in Normandy grows... Britain gives up and let France annex Normandy. Rip Normandy. <laughs> Just rip Normandy. <laughs> okay, so what, what are these guys doing? Tyrol Revolutionary Movement declared war on Austria. Tyrol Rebellion. Napoleon IV. Well, it's cool. That's cool. Basel. Austria, you should be able to take these guys out. Do you guys have... Oh, you're communists. Alright, well, that's cool. Good luck with your communism. With less than a million people there. Ah, good. Inclined belt armor scheme. Good. Build it up, build it up. Build us up big and strong. 1937. Disperse industry for even more guns. I love guns. Ooh, South Italy does not look good. Southern Italy, at least. Ooh, ah, uh, it needs more love. Alright, what's going on here? So we have Kingdom of China. The military junta of the Qing, Qing, provisional Manchurian government. The Great Mongolian State. The state of Xinjiang. The Japanese Empire. Yeah, they own Transmir. Hirohito is here. Not exactly centered, but that's okay. People's importance in the Japanese parliament. Remove taxes for four weeks. Uh, okay. Close trade. Alright, well, whatever. And you have great resource strain of Japan. Do you have a focus tree? Yes, you do. That's cool. Power to the people. Power to the Hirohito. The Hirohito. So the Russian non-aligned movement declared war on the Russian Empire. Russian parliament burns. But it doesn't look like it's burning in that picture. Russian politics are failing. Oh, well. I think you'll probably be okay, Russia. Konstantin is probably not going to live for, throughout this. Generic focus tree. Oh, Nikola II is in power. Okay. Well, this will be certainly very interesting. Leningrad. Oh, they own Leningrad. Okay. Oh. America goes elections. Cool. Um, I can't read the title, but that looks pretty powerful. Looks good. Soviet Council. Economic Rise. Home of the Revolution. And they have their own focus. Cool. Very cool. Moscow. So... Oh, Tyrol is crushed. Tsaritsyn is a capital, which is cool. Moscow. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's what we all kind of thought there. Switzerland. Very cool. And they're back. As a core state. And soon enough, we shall have closed trade. Subby boys. That's good. Ooh. Do that. Do that as well. Close trade. Because I do want to get rid of Arbeit. Ar I want to get Arbeit. 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 Remove the effects of the Berlin stock market crash. Ban fascism. Use reserve money. Small payments for the army. Sure, that sounds like it could be beneficial. Czechoslovakia looks really sad. I wouldn't split in two like this. It looks really, really sad. Ukraine. Well... Uh, of course, they would have Khrushchev leading the Ukraine. And focus tree? No. Cool. Well, actually, Bulgaria. Tsar? Cool. And how about Romania? Alexandru? Nope. Turkey's got to have one, right? Gen generic focus tree or not? No, they don't. Awesome. Death of the Ataturk. Alright, that's cool. That's very cool. It's interesting to see which countries have focus trees and which ones don't as we're trying to slowly improve our economic conditions here in Prussia, but it seems like, probably, the Poles are going to be a little bit of a problem down the line, as most of Germany will probably be as well. Military police is always great to have, as long as they're not shooting at you. Uh, cavalry, we're going to put some military police on immediately because even though we can't support them with support companies, eventually we will be able to. If that's the case... Hmm. Go ahead and do that for now. That'd be fine. Use reserve money. We need to small the military money for use our money in the economy. Oh! 
Yeah, just casually negative 300 political power. <laughs> uh, take some debts. Oh, that's cool. We can try that. Or do this. Arrest Heinrich Himmler. Cool. But we're going to end today's episode there. We just lost most of our manpower. We just have now minus 300 political power some. We've got some interwar armored cars. But regardless, I hope you enjoyed today's first episode into the look of the Bismarck Reich mod. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you all tomorrow as we, hopefully, might be able to try to reunite Germany. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.